it's it's basically just like the name says it's crossing fitness cross fit right so you're taking a whole bunch of different types of fitness and kind of combining them into one so you're doing weightlifting running rowing gymnastics high skill stuff and kind of doing it all at the same time as quickly as you can as heavy as you can etc um, the guy that started it his name is Greg Glassman he kind of was just trying to come up with a really hard training program for himself back in the day and put a couple of movements together realized that it was super tough kind of kicked his butt and just kept doing it and that's how it all started yeah I tend to do a little bit better with the gymnastic style events when I first started CrossFit and wanted to become competitive my the biggest gap for me was strength I came in and I had not really done any weightlifting prior to starting so I had a lot of catching up to do in that regard I've gotten myself to the point where I'm not the strongest athlete but I'm up there with the uh, I'm strong enough let's say to be at the top level in our sport but I tend to excel in kind of like the high skill gymnastics stuff. yeah well that I, I found out relatively quickly once I got into a CrossFit gym I got positive reinforcement from people at the gym that were like, you just came in here this week and you're already doing this and this, like, man, not many people pick up on that stuff that quickly, like, you could be pretty good. So that was kind of cool and that encouraged me to want to see where I could go with it. But prior to that, I grew up playing a little bit of everything, um, flag football, baseball, soccer eventually lacrosse was kind of the main sport that I played and then in high school I wrestled swam and played water polo and so I've always been athletic when I got to college I started to get a little bit more concerned with health and fitness was reading men's health doing some workouts from there wanted to like most college age guys just kind of like be jacked you know get muscular and, and toned so was doing a lot of aesthetic stuff in the gym but loved that lifestyle of fitness in general. And I'd heard about CrossFit through a friend but didn't really know what it was. And I saw actually an advertisement at a local restaurant for the CrossFit gym, Peak 360, which I started at and have been for the past 11 years going to. And on the advertisement, it had this guy running on the beach and he was shredded. And I was like, man, if CrossFit makes you look like that, I'm in. It turns out that that guy is now actually one of my best friends. His name is Guido Trinidad. He's the owner of the gym, and he kind of became my mentor. And uh, I transitioned from chasing the aesthetic to the athletic component of it and got into the skills of weightlifting and gymnastics and progressed pretty quickly. In 2014 was the first year that I qualified for the CrossFit Games. I've learned a lot from Guido, from just being a good person to being a good athlete and everything in between. And it's kind of like a playground for adults that are into fitness. You know, you walk in and there's ropes going up to the ceiling, there's rings and boxes and barbells and kettlebells and like everything that you could dream of if you're into fitness was there in this one location. And so I kind of got hooked right away. And I remember actually doing my first workout and going to the apartment pool that I lived at and laying in one of the lounge chairs and being exhausted, but thinking like, man, that was really different and really cool and I wanna go back tomorrow. And I've been going ever since. So I I haven't ever won the games. The, the way that CrossFit functions, there are a few stages throughout the season and then the CrossFit games is kind of the final event that's kind of like our super bowl it would be a good way to describe it you know in the nfl during the regular season they have regular season playoffs and then the super bowl and whoever wins the super bowl is the champion for that year so in crossfit we have the open which starts the season and you usually do the open at your own gym they'll announce the workouts online you have to video the workout and if you score high enough and they validate your video then you move on to the next stage of the competition which has changed over the years, but it's either like regionals or sanctioned events. But basically you go to this next stage, perform well, and then they'll take the top anywhere from like 40 to 100 individuals 
to go compete at the CrossFit Games, which again is our world championship for that year. The best that I've done at the championships is taking second place. I was pretty close to winning it in 2019, but close don't pay the bills. So I'm hoping that 2021 is the year that I can finally win it all.